Hi, this is Matt from Find My Blogway. I'm going to show you the Keyword Eye tool. It's a new tool that I've been using. Um, Matt Redwood from Keyword Eye has kindly let me try out the, the software. And it's a keyword research tool. And you can also use it for competitive research and, and a whole host of other visualization um, purposes as well. Uh, really good reports that you can use. And alongside this, it does a few things that some other tools don't actually give you the opportunity to do so I've been quite interested with the tool itself so I'm just on the home uh, the home area for your, your kind of your dashboard if you like for when you're in the keyword I pro and what you get is you get five different reports that you can run so you get the keyword suggestion which is you're, you're kind of similar to thing with the, what you'd get in the keyword planner tool which is um, you just type in a, a keyword and then it can suggest terms based around that. Uh, domain ranking, which is a really powerful competitive research keyword tool, which I'll show you about. The anchor text, uh, which links in with Ahrefs, which pulls in uh, some linking anchor text to certain domains. Question finder, which shows various different long tail keyword suggestions related around questions. Awesome for blogs, forums, things like that. So really good stuff there. And then the keyword opportunities, which is still in beta at the moment, but that links up with your Google Analytics and you can then grab some keywords based on traffic and be able to kind of pull through and maybe absorb some more traffic as a result. So I'll just show you the first one, keyword suggestion. And what I've done here is I've already ran off the reports just so that we don't have to wait a few seconds. Um, but what you've got here is you put in your keyword. As you see, it's powered by SEM Rush's data. Uh, you can select from a whole host of different search engines. It says order the cloud by. Now, this is um, the, one of the visualization options, which I'll, I'll show you a bit more when you see the reports. You can gather up to 400 keywords at a time. And obviously, for your PPC side of things, you can decide which currency you want to do it in. And then all you do is click run report. Now I'm just going to press cancel because I've already ran that report. And I just did it around the travel keyword. And what you get is a really awesome kind of visualization here. And you can change the size of this. And what you see is the bigger keywords represent bigger search volumes. Um, <clears throat> so we can kind of instantly go through a few of these and pick out, you just need to hover over and it will show you the organic search results, search volume on a monthly basis and you start being able to pick off a few, which is really awesome. It also um, color codes based on PPC competition. So you've got the red ones are high, um, the, the PPC competition for this one is orange, which is medium, and green is low, uh, just pulling in keyword stats from uh, Google, to be honest, but handy all the same. And to be honest, it's a nice way of visualizing keyword data. And when you're working with big data samples, this can be particularly useful. Uh, there's also another visualization chart that they have, which shows you kind of some of the search volume share. <clears throat> so you'd be able to pick out some of the search terms with the biggest search volume from the, uh, from the sample that we've gathered. And then PPC competition versus search volume. So you'd be able to have a nice chart here uh, that kind of showcases this. One, one thing that would be good um, is if we were able to um, kind of make this bigger and kind of drill a bit deeper into some of the stats. But as an instant visualization, it is very good all the same. Um, and then finally, if you want to just go into the raw stats, you've got the, the grid view and you can download all of this. And another nice feature is if say we said, okay, I don't want TripAdvisor holding control, click Expedia, I don't want that, I don't want traffic report, I don't want this. You can then press remove and there you go. You've deleted keywords from your, from your kind of sample size. And then you can look at adding some, adding some keywords in to your selections. Add those, they've been, added to selected keywords, you can just press download and download them as a CV, uh, CSV. So a pretty cool, pretty cool uh, visualization tool. <clears throat> um, I think more than anything it's for the visualization side of things that makes it very unique for this specific feature. 
Now, probably my favorite feature of Keyword Eye, which I really liked, is the domain keyword report. <clears throat> so it re returns keyword data based on organic or PPC ranking for any domain. Now, I've just chose out my travel blog, just wanted to see how, um, <clears throat> how much validity is in the data itself, because obviously I have access to all the analytics and, and know all the stats myself. Now, you can choose either organic or PPC to base this on, uh, picking your search engines, whichever one you want to use. I've just put Google UK for now, doesn't really matter. This is where the order of the cloud by, and this is all shown up in random at the moment, but you can do it by alphabetical, um, organic result by ascending, PPC competition ascending, search volume ascending, descending. So <clears throat> you can order this cloud visualization in any way you like. Likewise, currency, and then you just press re run reports. Just going to press cancel and I'll go into the report here. So what we've got, I'll just make this a bit bigger. <clears throat> so it's just pulled off a load of different keywords. Um, and I can verify that these are a lot of the keywords that my travel blog brings in pretty much all of its traffic for, to be honest. Um, so it's been spot on with all of this uh, competitive research. And the, probably one of the cool things that I noticed here as well, um, alongside being able to see kind of what the keyword search volume share, like in the past uh, feature, you've got search volume versus competition, which is great. I mean, this in itself, these first two sections here are incredible competitive research visualizations that you can put together to understand your competition. Now, this section is just awesome. The grid view doesn't just show you the keywords, but it also shows you the search volume, yes, but where that domain is ranking and which URL is ranking. And this keyword report was pulled off in about, it must have been about 20 seconds. So I've got all of the URLs that my, that my travel blog is ranking for specific keywords all of the organic ranking reports. To be honest, this could just be a great ranking report that you use for your website, uh, let alone uh, spying into your competitors. But very, very, very good data that you can use. And, and I've been using this a lot for competitive research and, and downloading this into CSVs. Very powerful tool. Um, so that's particularly probably my favorite feature, actually. Um, the anchor text report, I haven't found as great. Reason being, if I want to find out anchor text, then I'll probably use either Ahrefs, Majestic, or, or another tool. If you don't have those tools, then I suppose this can work quite well. Now, all it will do is, so I've just used Amazon as, um, as the example here. It will search through and find any external links pointing to the domain and then pull off its anchor text. So this can be good for finding keywords. So I'll, just, I'll show you the report that's pulled off at Amazon. So we've got a whole load of stuff, to be honest, here. A little Russian and uh, Chinese, so Arabic even there. So you've got all sorts of stuff. Um, and the same thing applies. So you've got the visualizations, <clears throat> the grid view as well. So you can find out how many referring pages are linking with specific anchor text. How many unique domains are linking with that specific anchor text? So a nice anchor text report, and also it can be good for finding some new keywords um, on top of that. To be honest, it, it probably ties in quite well with the competitive research side of things. But as I said, I'd probably rather use a tool dedicated to link analysis, but a great feature all the same. Uh, okay, question finder. This is probably my second favorite feature. Um, so if you're running things like a forum or you're running a blog and you want to um, try ranking for some search terms that are related to people asking questions about things. So if I just go back to my travel blog, it was like, um, what are the best things to do in Koh Samui? That's one of the, like, the big keywords that brings in good traffic to my blog. This can do that kind of thing. Now I'm using the keyword WordPress. I want to find questions related to WordPress. And you can have specific types of questions as well that you can drill down to. But for this, I want all questions. So I've 
pulled off the report already here. So you've got what is WordPress, how to use WordPress, how to install WordPress, uh, how to install WordPress theme, how to build websites with WordPress, and really, really good stuff that you can use <clears throat> along with search volumes. So these are areas that you can easily write blogs about, put in your forum and create threads around and start ranking those as well. Um, <clears throat> another feature that I found to work really well actually, if you use Scrapebox, to get even more kind of question related data, especially in very specific topics. Um, export all of this, all of these questions and put them into the Scrapebox keyword scraper and just do it one level and it will find even more on top of that. But this is, this is a really great quick way to find loads of questions. Um, so a really powerful tool again for, for your keyword research. A great feature and then finally the last one here is your keyword opportunities report now here is what links up to Google Analytics and what you can do is link up one of your sites pull out all of your Google Analytics data and then find keyword opportunities based on that so you've got the different search engines again uh, currency for PPC stuff, traffic type, paid or organic, so you can drill down on that. Uh, specific segments, um, which, which can be handy, uh, and a small filter. So again, I did it for my travel blog, just to sh show you a few things, and this is what it returned for me. So, <clears throat> things to do in Koh Samui, it also shows me if I'm already ranking for that, and which uh, URL is ranking for that specific search term. Um, teach English in Thailand, but I'm not ranking for that. So shows me ways where I could maybe go back in and re-optimize some of this content to start bringing in some of this search volume, which I could absorb a bit more if I was ranking a couple of spots higher on page one for that. Um, so uh, another good bit of data. Uh, on top of that, you can you can kind of update the bounce rate, so you can rerun these reports kind of on a regular basis. So there's kind of an overview of some of the main features that I've found to be pretty awesome on the Keyword Eye tool. So have a little look at it. Um, also on the blog, I'm gonna be giving away one free copy of it. Um, check it out and let me know what you think. Okay, thanks guys.